Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me, and I'm here in the Creativity Nest for another episode of Teach Me Tuesday. Um, I am super excited about this, so grab your Simply Scored board and um, come stamp with me. So I want to show you um, first, I'm going to take you to my desk and show you a big surprise, okay? The new catalog is here. So it's a little early for some of you that are not demonstrators, but as a demonstrator, um, we got our copy this week and I'm so excited. And you know what? You're going to absolutely love it. I forgot to put my comments on. So let me know if you're here. You're going to absolutely love it. I hope you're going to absolutely love it because I absolutely love it. And um, this is this is a really good one. So I just wanted to show you the cover of the new catalog. So there's that. So let's bring in, let's start. We're going to bring in our Simply Scoreboard. I'm going to um, bring it down so we have the measurements in the camera. And you might have one of these and it's sitting in a drawer. Or it's sitting on your desk and you don't use it. So I'm going to help you um, show you some fun ways to use it today that are maybe a little bit different or thinking outside the box. I always tell my team, let's think outside the box. They always laugh at me and they make fun of me, but um, we have so many great products and we can use them the same old, same old, but let's think about them in a different way. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I did was I grabbed my, you know how my phone's going to freeze a little bit, but hopefully Hopefully not for too long. I'm using my new internet, so we'll see. I grab my box. I tell you all the time. I have a box of cardstock that I have pre-cut. This one is three and three quarters by five, and that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to grab uh, three or four. I'm going to just grab three or four because I'm going to show you some different things. So on the scoreboard, you get a stylus. There's a um, bigger tip and there's a skinny tip. Um, I'm going to use the, probably going to use the skinny tip today. Um, a lot of times you'll use this for um, just scoring a piece of cardstock in half or something like that. But I'm going to show you how to add some design elements to your um, cards, okay? And um, so I'm going to use the stylus. I'm going to use the small end. And what I'm going to do is I'm starting about, I'm just guesstimating. I mean, there's measurements here and measurements here, so it's it's not hard to guess. But I'm starting about a quarter of an inch in on both sides, and I'm just running my stylus down my cardstock. Um, this is purely whatever you want. I'm moving over a quarter of an inch. I'm just all I'm doing is I'm adding some design elements to my card. Okay, so I'm just drawing some lines with my scoring tool, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to start in. Um, it's three and three quarters, so I'm going to start in at three and a half, and I'm going to start about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. I'm going to just come up, and I'm going to draw some lines. They could be different. I'm going to make these go long, and I'm going to go over a quarter of an inch, make this one go a little short. Then I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to do some cross hatching. So I'm going to, it's, this is a lot of um, just having fun with your, um, just having fun with your stylus. And you're, I'm doing the um, deboss side, but I, I was at four. I'm going to start at this line. You're going to see when I get done, I'm going to go here. I'm going to just make this one short. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I might turn this so that I can see a little bit better. I'm going to start at the quarter. Whoops. I ran out the, the uh, channel a little bit. I'm having trouble staying in it. There we go. Okay. All right. I was making sure it's been freezing in and out. I know it's my it's my phone angle. So just bear with me. So when you get done, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to hold it up. It's going to take a minute. It's freezing in and out. That's my phone. I haven't figured it out yet um, because I do have high-speed internet now. So here's just some elements. And then I want to show you a card that I made with that. Okay, so here's a card. And all I did was I just did the same thing. I just made those elements on there. 
added some flowers, added a greeting, added a little bow. It's a super simple card, but see how that just dresses it up? Just Now I'm using white on white here, but you could change that to um, any color cardstock that you want. So this is just one idea. Then what if you just, what if you wanted to um, maybe just frame your elements in? So starting at, oh, I'm gonna start at half inch and half inch. And I'm just gonna go down to a half inch here. And I'm doing the same thing here, starting in at a half inch, going down to a half inch. Then I just turn it 90 degrees and I start at that point. And all I'm doing is making a frame, okay? Going in, this was at five, so four and a half. I'm just making a frame. So you can see there's a frame. We're gonna wait, it's gonna freeze just a little bit. Hopefully it'll come back here in just a second. Okay, so there's the frame, holding it up to the camera. Just give it a second. So what if I want to dress that one up a little bit? I'm gonna go back to my scoreboard. Now I'm gonna pull this in and do a second frame inside. See how just using your scoreboard is adding some fun elements to your card front. Okay, and like I said, this does not have to be on white. This could be on any any color that you want. So let, here's just a double frame. Super cute, okay? All right, so they're super cute, super cute. Now, let's go and do something a little more willy-nilly. We're just gonna start in the middle I'm going to just make a little box here. Whoops. I'm going to kind of make a crosshatchy box. Okay, there's that. And then if I want to box it in, I can frame it inside. The, are, you, are your wheels spinning? The possibilities are totally endless on this. So here's just a double frame. Give it a second. I've got a super cute card. Well, I'll hold it. Uh, yeah, there. Okay. I'll stay there. So there's the double frame. And then I made this card using the double frame. So can you imagine this card, if I did not use that frame, it would be rather plain. And then I also took the little wings of the ladybug and I put the, um, I punched them out in pear pizzazz and scored the middle to make the little leaf under my ladybug. So there's, there's another, there's another idea. It's just adding a fun, element to a simple card that doesn't have to take very long. Um, you can also, you might be wondering, can I do it on a diagonal? Yes, you could do it on a diagonal. You can just make, you could do diagonal lines just like so. And then you can have a little um, diagonal element. I could see this with some designer series paper. Let's go one more. And so there is just a diagonal element, just like so. Oh, can you see that one? That one's a little harder to see. I'm not sure. Oh, the, I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, I turned it, okay, I could see it there, there. I can see it much better there. So yes, you can do it on a diagonal too. So um, super, super cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna bring the two cards in here so that if you want, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take it back to my desk so that you could take a quick, um, just snag a quick snapshot. I don't know if I put these on here, can you see them? Hold on, because once I lay them on, it won't matter, but I want you to see some of the possibilities. So here's the inside, here's the one we've done here. Put them up like that. 
and then the diagonal here's just the double frame here's a double frame and then here's the diagonal so you can snag a quick um, snapshot oh, that one doesn't show up unless I do it in portrait mode for some reason then you can see it so there's my idea um, for <laughs> There, I'm just laughing at Betsy's comment. So there's my idea uh, for Teach Me Tuesday. Get out your scoreboard um, and have fun with it. And please share your ideas on my creativity page. If you're not sure, it's linked to the Create With Me. Look for the groups that are in there, and you're going to look for the creativity group, um, the place to share. And show me what you've done with it because it's really fun it's addicting. You just start drawing lines all over your paper. You know, bring in another color and um, show us on that page what you've done and, sh and inspire us. I hope I've inspired you today. Um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for coming. Bye, everybody.